Thank God it's Friday. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo Afo Lavi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing, Obiajulu? I'm doing amazing. I was reading the script and also I am busy. I had to pause. Oh, like, okay. okay, you were. So <laughs> oh, like, okay. so I thought, I was like, is she a guest? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, so my little daughter is having a Christmas party today. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm all glammed. glammed up looking like a mommy. Oh, they tell parents to, to play my mommy role. Christmas carol. Parents are allowed Christmas to come. Yeah, Christmas, Christmas carol. Uh, yeah. Um, the carol. Mm. So they have different, because um, they have uh, three segments, the primary, the nursery, and, yeah. and they do it at different dates. Oh, wow. So I still so have like another two to <laughs> ten, I think wow. next week. So I'm rushing off there. And then um, I would... See, my waka today, God will mm. help me. So I'll go to Ikoyi. I'll come back. You are doing praise party. She'll be it's not today, oh. When? Uh, 23rd. Ah, thank, thank God. God. <laughs> you were wondering how you're going to, to divide yourself. somewhere because we have TVC, TVC party. party. Yeah. How do I do? Oh. Oh, God is your strength. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> See what I say. Yeah. <laughs> She'll figure it out. She'll figure it out. Yeah. I do, Mariam. I love right. the goddess look today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I knew we were going to be wearing the same here. I guessed. So I was like, how do I make, make my own different? <laughs> you did a good job at it. So um, yesterday was interesting. I went for my son's um, school's Christmas carol. My God, those children were mind blowing. Oh. It was this particular um, last um, class that did it? House. He had such a powerful voice. We were screaming and shouting. You think it was Michael Jackson? I was singing. Oh. Wow. Was, I'm like, I hope this boy is allowed to Dude. grow oh. in his talent. Yeah. I hope it's not a daddy saying you're going to do medicine. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> just, <laughs> it was really enjoyable. I loved it. Then we went all went to dinner after. So oh, it was really parents nice. went to dinner. You guys? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean the family. Oh, family. Yeah. Yes, me, my husband, the kids, and grandma went. Oh, nice. Oh. I like that. Oh. Okay, awesome. we'll try that. We have ours on uh, Tuesday. Yes. I Tuesday. can't make it because I have my meeting at that time exactly you yeah. after my meeting you and yeah, but my daughter is presenting at, oh. her, at her place she has been practicing yeah she mm. really wants me to take it that mommy I uh, that mommy is now you have to oh, come they want oh. mommy i'm gonna do it <laughs> i'm gonna do it how are you doing i'm good i'm doing well i i'm I grateful to god yes i, I got all oh, these Insta, instagram vendors uh -huh. mm. me i'm an instagram shopper and yeah. thankfully <laughs> i have never been scammed on Instagram, maybe I Grace, maybe I do this. diligence, but somehow when it landed yesterday, I was like, ah, oh, I'm going to rock it. I'm not even waiting you for ceremony. It. Before I used to wait until there's something happening. Before no, every day is rocking, a but now I'm like, I'm in a season where if I have a new outfit, Lunch I wear it. I, I do it. Absolutely, this is yeah. gorgeous. But it's weekend. Weekend is packed. Carol in my church is this Sunday. My team ah. needs to do video rehearsal by 10 p.m. I have pray with joy dinner this evening. As in this weekend, and my husband's birthday is on Sunday. I'm looking at myself like, hey, how are you going to do I, I want to hang out. When is it? Did you post lunch? Oh, it's not lunch. <laughs> on, on Saturday. <laughs> Saturday is my mom's birthday. Oh, yeah. So, as oh, a, so, this is it. It's oh, wonderful. I'll be happy if it's postponed because I need to start sleep. Because <laughs> I, I got a call. Can you like, postponed, please? I got a call right. yesterday so to host... The experience. Yes. I wanted to enter the ground. I was like, are you sure you're calling me? <laughs> yeah. It's you. I'm like, what? Wow. I was very excited. I was there till like 2 o'clock. We left about past um, 7.30 8 p.m. But I got home really like 2 a.m. because of the traffic. Mm -hmm. uh, a bridge fell off. Nigerians. Eh? Okay. A truck ran into a pedestrian bridge and the whole bridge fell down. Yeah, I love it. And that it really crossed the entire. So, so if um, BC hadn't mentioned it, I wouldn't have heard. I'm just saying we should have... I mean, Mission. I was in the car, the radio was on. That is something that you would, over again. Yeah. Yeah. All would radio over stations. over again. Yeah. Or else I would have been caught up in serious traffic. Even with that, you know, I was still in traffic. But to think that it happened since yesterday, yeah. I thought it just happened this morning. Yeah. No, no, yes. It happened almost, almost in front of me. So about about, about, maybe about two or three hundred um, meters away. So we just saw people packed. We just wondered what's Woo. going on. And then we just, when I, started, I was there for like no, two hours to, trying to figure out the Alakbere yeah, all the way to Kuru Oh, really gosh. Bad. I was yeah. there, so I was really exhausted. But Hopefully, hey, we're happy. I'm casual. really excited about today. Yeah, I'm excited so, about it yeah. too. Yeah, have you done? I was seeing Pastor Paul face to face. Like this. <laughs> I see I him every too, and I know me. I was too. I was too <laughs> Oh, you, you were supposed to be an usher. Yeah. I cancelled because of our hangout. Oh, oh yes. so Now okay. I feel bad. This like where, I feel God. God. Name dropping. I know him too. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, this is my picture this time ever that that getting that close okay, getting I'm so happy I'm so, I'm, so, I'm so afraid of posting like, I'm like please post it though because I've seen you inside somebody else's video do you have, so we have to do a rehearsal, rehearsal. Yeah, yeah, so. 
it's going to be wild. Okay. If, Jesus, if you never watched, Jesus, if, so. if you have oh, never oh, watched the experience you. before, this one. Okay. Tune in extra. Oh, our own MD Uji. mama is <laughs> going to be Uji there. Uji. Oh, oh that, yes. Let's go on a break. We <laughs> come back. <laughs> Look at the front pages of the paper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're going to start with the nation. Tinubu vows punishment for error bombing culprits. <clears throat> Two kidnapped prospective U Corps members freed. Exodus of skilled youth abroad. Hmm, worries federal government. Wow. Finally. Chibus galore for Frank Kokori. Oil theft. Tantita security forces arrest another suspicious vessel. Hmm. NJC rejects petition against Oshunshi De Adekwele Oju. Okay, which story are we starting with? We can start with um, operatives of Tanta, Tantita Security Services Limited, the Nigerian Army, and the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense uh, Corps, NSCDC, arrested a massive vessel in the coastal waters of Ondo State. So according to sources, it said the suspected vessel was sighted off the coast of Ondo State while loading crude from a wellhead. And the investigations also revealed that a combined team of soldiers, men of the NSCDC and Tantita operatives, accosted the vessel which had naval personnel on board. And the naval personnel uh, re uh, refused their request by the NMPC um, that the vessel be moved to NMPC jetty at Oporoza for a joint inspection. So uh, they refused that, and Navy arrested the vessel, insisted on arresting the vessel. And they now found out that um, the naval operatives were shooting all day, causing another standstill in that area. But by the time they found the vessel, they said um, they found that the vessel was actively involved in uh, siphoning crude, crude oil from both sides of the wellhead. And when they started interrogation, they also found that uh, they had 17 Nigerian crew members on board. The storage capacity is about 15,000 metric tons. And, you know, the time of arrest, they had loaded about 500 metric, metric tons of crude oil already. This was wow. being stolen. So one of the reasons they insisted on arresting was um, if they had left them when they refused to answer, before you know it, they would disappear. You won't even see of the course. vessel anymore. So that arrest now, I hope that we'll hear at the end of the day what was done to, yes, the Nigerians that are involved, the people that are sending them. And I, I beg them not to um, destroy the crude. We need it. They shouldn't blow it up. Okay, let me take um, our president says, according to the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation, Dr. Beta Edu, she said, our president is disturbed by the exodus of skilled youth from Nigeria in search for greener pastures abroad. The president is also concerned that many of these migrants are educationally equipped youths who, uh, on whom national resources have been expended. Um, he was um, disturbed by the, the trend of job seekers going abroad to look for greener pastures. And um, she was speaking at, um, at, a, at an event, which is the National Dialogue on Migration at the Refugee, Refugees, Migrants and Internally Displaced uh, event in Abuja. Um, also, furthermore, she said that um, the, numbers of Nigeria is, the numbers in Nigeria is not of, of those who are migrating is not pleasant. 
um, as millions of our countrymen and women and other ECOWAS citizens within Nigeria are classified as migrants in various categories such as internally displaced persons, refugees and returnees. Obviously, the mandate for the National Commission for Refugees and Migrants is by no means enviable. So obviously, they're doing everything to curb the consistent migration. The numbers are increasing year in, year out, mm -hmm. and they have to find a way to create jobs to get our youths to stay back in Nigeria. Yes, um, and then NYSC. I, don't, I think we remember when we talked about um, um, seven, I think, um, prospective youth corps members who were on their way to camp in Sokoto and they were abducted in Samfara. Mm. Yeah. And this happened in August. So NYS is telling us that they've secured the release of two of them, females, and that they're going to keep doing all that they can to make sure the others are returned safely and in good health to their families. You know, uh, I remember when we talked about it last, the parents said that they haven't heard anything. It just seemed like they had been abandoned. But it looks like they're still in negotiation with them. And hopefully, you know, we don't get to hear about this. And we're praying for those who are still in captivity. May God keep them safe. And may we soon be able to secure their release as well. So I'm taking the president's statement concerning the military the mistake that happened with the military attacking this village that has led to the death of over 100 and about 127 um, Nigerians. The Tudum, um, Tudumbiri village in Kaduna State. The president has said that he is going to evolve that any um, one involved in the error would be dealt with and because of that that statement was made by the vice president who visited the people in the hospital, the survivors in the hospital and he expressed that the heart of the president is with all of the survivors of that particular incident and that he, the president is therefore have been there but he's here to represent the president and he commiserated that there's a particular initiative the Fulaco initiative that is the president's response to non-kinetic solutions in the challenges in the north east not west and that these people will be the first beneficiaries of the um the support that they will be well taken care of yeah. all the survivors will be well taken care of he said the initiative would provide 500 houses will be built within um, parts of the northern parts of Kaduna and other 500 houses in the southern part of Kaduna and is here <coughs> to express that the president is committed to supporting them and that the military would be reviewing their operational strategies to be sure that they um, investigate the entire process and that the military um, also said they would not be deterred but they would be sending out a report of the investigation to the president. Um, right. sa um, the um, Khan, as well as Ohanese, many people, even the governor of Lagos, many governors, everybody is commiserating with yeah. the families that are left after what happened it in really painful, sorry. Mm -hmm. The punch. FG vows to punish culprits. Yes, ACF demands GOC's removal. Um, Sanusi carpets and NPCL doubt dollar remittance after subsidy removal. Some foreign airlines may quit Nigeria, IATA warns federal government. Tinubu Nupeng others mourn as Kokori dies at 80. I won't surrender my mandate to intimidation, says Fubara. Government abduct 10 Nasarawa varsity students. NJC sacks Oshun George, dismisses Aleke's petition against CJ. And NPA blames concession of for $853 million, $1.8 billion, Naira revenue shortfall. Okay, which story are we starting with? Yes, this is a sad story um, coming out from Nasara State. Uh, they say 10 students of the Federal University of Lafia, Nasara State, were in the early hours of Thursday kidnapped by bandits in the Gandu community. So this community, they say, is about two kilometers away from the main institution. Um, it's a student community op um, opposite the institution's main um, campus. And... Um, eyewitnesses say that um, about 2 a.m. these bandits came shooting sporadically, the students head, everybody ran for safety. And that was how they were able to abduct 10 students. Now, um, the state, um, the police command has said that they are yet to get the real facts. Yeah. You know, they are not sure that this actually happened yet because they have been trying, like, on fact finding investigation. There's no identity, they don't have any identity of the victims, you know, everything, okay. questions that they're asking, they haven't found the answers to that yet. So at the time of this report, they can't confirm categorically that this incident has happened, happened. but we have anonymous um, eyewitnesses who are saying that it did happen. Oh. Okay, let's go on a very short break. When we come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
ladies and gentlemen, and <laughs> OJ right here, seven of seven, like you already know. Benga right here, seven of seven, like I'm beginning to know. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's now time for the question. You don't scare me one bit. Bata bata, I go drink. So, okay. so now one chance going time. My, My first question. question. Do you remember the names of the winners of that edition of Star Quest? Of course I do. Why uh, do you? And I, and, I, and, I, and I hate myself for this. Because I have this question for you. Final question. No. Where, where outside Nigeria and what year? I think you're the only one that can be wicked. I am thinking because I know back in the day. Don't think, oh, don't think. Answer my question quick, quick. You are thinking too much. I don't like it. The UK. Final answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I said, God, God, please, let me to perform outside Nigeria. Wait, 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 wait. And God wait. gave me a trip, a show in Ghana. <laughs> drink, my friend, drink, drink. Drink, drink, drink. I know. I don't, I don't overthink this thing. See where I can yes, you think. overthink him. I would say you should catch walk. <laughs> Let's catch walk. <laughs> Where are we? No, that's not catch walk. That's, that's good. The, that's that's the good. <laughs> What happens behind the curtains of a man's mind? Or perhaps you're one of those who wonder what men talk about when they gather. Well, here goes. Imagine what it takes to put together the perfect cocktail. Or maybe mocktail. We need a bit of sports, a sprinkling of current affairs, some very deep topical issues, and last but not the least, a healthy dose of grumbling of those we love to hate. And yes, you guessed it, women. Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing Punch. Yes, uh, it's going to take a story. You have yeah, a story? Go ahead. The former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, has advised President Bola Tinubu against occupying the office of the Minister of Petroleum Resources, saying that the arrangements will make it difficult for the country to hold the NMPC uh, accountable. That's the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation. Uh, he said this while he was delivering his remark at the Bank Directors Summit organized by the Bank Directors Association of Nigeria. This happened on Thursday in Abuja and we know that he had been the CBN governor from June 2009 to February 2014 and he also says that um, the NMPC is, has been that they are really not transparent at all and he faulted the NMPC for failing to remit enough foreign exchange into the government coffers despite the removal of fuel subsidy by the current administration and he talked about how he was in the CBN for over 15 years and for that time the NMPC was not even remitting you know funds into our coffers and nobody was able to do anything and he's saying that if the president decides to become the minister mm. he doesn't have a direct monitoring team he will not be able to tell us how many uh, barrels do we spend per day what is coming in and what is going out so we need an independent uh, you know minister to handle that office so that when we ask questions it won't be like we're attacking the yeah. president that he's not supposed to have that same among other things that happen he said this is one of the reasons uh, he was suspended in the first place because he kept asking the questions and he right. will still ask till the day he dies. Okay, so the International Air Transport Association has warned that the Central Bank of Nigeria...
um, uh, that uh, some foreign airlines actually may be forced to quit the Nigerian market if the central bank is not able to repatriate the $790 million ticket revenue that is trapped in our country. Their, their Vice President, Camille Alawadi, was speaking in Geneva. He said that uh, Lagos, Abuja are one of the most expensive, most ranked, most expensive gateways in the region despite the poor state of their infrastructure. Thank you for adding that. According to him, the Nigerian government is currently holding the highest amount of airline trapped funds uh, of $792 million, followed by Egypt, Algeria, and others. So, I mean, they are hoping that the, the government is able to do what they can to ensure that they repatriate these funds because if not, they might have to um, stop flying in our own airspace going forward. So, said, uh, I just hope they need to fix this. Let's move on quickly now. No, no, we're not moving on. Yes, River State, the governor of River State is speaking. The River State governor was talking tough on Thursday. He was doing this combined quarterly general meeting of River State Council of Traditional Rulers in Port Harcourt on Thursday. While speaking, he reassured his commitment to serve the people with humility and um, sincerity of purpose and accountability. But he also mentioned the fact that he will not be intimidated into, um, into relinquishing what he got from the, the mandate he got from the people. He said he reaffirms that he's committed to the path of peace as there is nothing to gain in needless crisis, but he will not surrender his mandate. He also mentioned that River State is a collective inheritance presently under his watch and he's going to protect and defend it as it advances and advance it as the governor. Um, he said they will take deliberate steps to unlock entrepreneurial spirit, he's going to support, um, he's going to reduce unemployment, ensure the youth get um, support tr through um, different skilled, skilled develop development programs he's going to implement within the state. He said that um, he knows that many people are worried. And he also is worried, but he would not sacrifice his mandate. And the traditional rulers have also spoken in support of him. This is his own part because we've also taken, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, the fact that the House of Assembly held, the State House of Assembly had a meeting um, and said that they have not been getting support from the state's um, governor. So the governor is also having a time to okay. come to media. To Moving on, the Daily Sun now, war over VPs, 15 billion now residents. Uh, three operatives injured as NDLA drug cartel clash in Edo Forest. 950,000 barrels of oil cargo birth at Dangote Refinery. Ebony shuts down five fake hospitals, uncovers 107 quacks. Tinubu Governor's Labor Union's orders <coughs> mourn as Kokori dies at 80th birthday. FG pounces on OPE, pound pay orders as NIBBSS stops non deposit banks from funds transfer channel. And no plan to abduct immediately. Says EFCC, DSS, and NCS. Okay, which story? NDLA. So this particular one is like a movie. Um, <laughs> it said NDLA repelled rain of bullets from armed hoodlums who blocked all roads to uh, Opuje community in Owen West. So please, I hope I got that pronunciation right because that's where my husband is from, Owen West. <laughs> anyway, oh, that is not in a good light today. Owen West, local government. So there's this community, this, um, their drug. Um, barons have warehouses there and then they stock up on mm. all these illegal drugs and um, <coughs> from intelligence NDLE had heard about this stock pile of drugs and had gone in there to try to destroy it or make arrest and as they were approaching that community the forest area the hoodlums who came out with their guns like mm. trying to stop it anyway they were able to um, arrest some suspects. They said there's one Omoru and Theophilus 37, Agberi on Jacob 42, Ekende Anthony Zaza 53, see the age range, and Naomi Patience Ohiwere 42 were arrested in connection with these drugs. They said it's not the first time, you know, that particular area has been um, attacked, but, uh, you know, the NDLA has gone to, um, had heard about this stockpiling of drugs and had gone there and they're always repelling them. But the NDLA bus, um, Brigadier General Mohammed Bubamarwa retired has warned that all those who keep engaging and attacking the operatives will never find rest. They'll do all that they can to hunt them down. <clears throat> so we have um, five fake hospitals in yeah. Eboin State that mm -hmm. has been shut down. 
Uh, they were involved in fake di drug distribution. They've been arrested. Uh, Governor Francis Nguifuru was the one who you know, disclosed this in the House of Assembly as he was presenting the 2024 budget. And he said the budget is a um, budget of innovation and success. And he said 107 medical quacks in the state have signed undertaking with a task force on medical quackery in the state never to indulge in the unwholesome practice again. And he is also committed to upgrading 13 general hospitals across the state to change the health status and provide access to health care services for rural dwellers. And that's um, one of the things that he's planning to do this period. So they have a total of five quack centers which have been successfully shut down. And then they mentioned the names, Eleri Hospital, Afipo, Party Hospital, Ugobodo, Homopathic Specialist uh, Hospital, Ibiago, St. Patrick Hospital, Iboko, and Alexander Hospital, Umwezioka. Umu, hmm. Yes, have been shut down. They have been the major distributors of the fake drugs in the state. And, you know, this they had to do collaborating with uh, NAFDAQ to ensure that this doesn't happen anymore. So the ongoing efforts mm -hmm. now to revamp the 13 general hospitals and see how they can bring, you know, proper health care to the people of Ebonzo. Okay. Dangote Refinery. Oh, my story. Finally <laughs> received its first cargo, oil cargo, uh, yesterday, 8 p.m. at the Dangote Refinery Terminal. And it was from the Agbami, um, Agbami. Agbami um, crude. So the, according to the report, it says that development is set to dial tensions, uh, speculations over the actual 650,000 barrels per day. But Dangote has come to say that for now, they're going to start with 350,000 barrels per day, quoting industry resources and tanker tracking um, data. Um, he says that um, the 950,000 barrel cargo of Nigeria's Agbami crude set sail on December 6th and is currently... Um, docked at Lekki, yes. the nearest land to Dangote's offshore. The tanker is expected to uh, begin, the, so the, the, the refinery is supposed to begin operations hopefully immediately. Um, the tanker was chartered by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC, symbolizes the initial crude supply to Dangote's state of art refinery. So we're all waiting. So all now right. they've delivered Nine you know what I was, what I expect to have seen. <laughs> the tanker is on its way right now. It's yeah. lucky, it's so lucky so right now. Driving through the gate, arriving. The 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 yes. Give us some media hype. Yeah. Yeah. I just got excited. Yes. Yes. Is their media hype? Because it's been really, really. They are, they are trying to just ensure they make this work. I beg. I beg. This is the first time ever. Let's just make in the history of Nigeria that we are going to be refining crude. Yeah, but Agbami is. Uh, it's also in partnership with Folon Lalakija. That's uh, our, our crop uh, oil. Okay, mm -hmm. so our, our uncle is getting. So online, should have, everybody should have been yes. seen. Yes, ah, we should have been. Our children should have been yes. waving in Nigeria. Yes. 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 Everything about everything you admire yeah. about the US was media was concocted from the media fund to sell it. Mm -hmm. We could have sold it. The Agbami, the company that is Nigerian. locally owned by Folon Shalakija and Kiriko Kiriko is now investing and putting crude oil we into it. We don't know how to we sell tell the story. Ourselves. But I want to take a story that did not make Just wait, let that tanker not... break down. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, hey, to go viral. Hey. <laughs> this is very important. Naptip was addressing, Naptip of course we know is the um, the drug agency, the agency, agency the national agency for prohibition of trafficking in persons and there was the um, General General Professor Fatima Waziri as he was speaking to the Senate um, Committee on Social Duties for Defense of the 2024 budget and she had to mention a lot about what they've done. 2023 they were able to secure 80 convictions. Out of those 80 were two high profile. First time ever they secured the conviction of a Lebanese who deals in human trafficking and they were able to secure the um, conviction of a Benin, um, this um, Edo woman not Benin. Uh, this uh, um, she actually is Benin. <laughs> I didn't want to use the word Benin without being sure. This been, um, she, she's a high-level person within Benin. She's, she was she does human trafficking. They were, she was convicted for trafficking twelve girls to Belgium Ew. for human trafficking and sexual exploitation. Mm -hmm. They were also able to, in conjunction with Interpol, seek the um, extradition of Charity Omoye, who is currently serving a thirteen-year jail sentence in Italy. Spoke about how they were able to rescue. 2,700 people just this year, which is higher than last year, said most of them came from Lagos and Castina because these are border cities. And she said there have been a lot of extensive 
awareness and education. That's what they spend their budget on. About two billion was what they budgeted for in 2023, and in 2024 they want to spend about three billion, and they are hoping to increase awareness and give the the. The, this agency a global platform so that they are able to partner more with international agencies to prevent human mm. trafficking, actually ni trafficking of Nigerians abroad. All right, our final paper this morning, let's find it. We've not taken PDP distances itself from merger talks. LCCI, NECA, lament exit of Procter and Gamble and others. FG votes 548.6 billion naira for federal roads nationwide. On easy calming police over new postings. Kokori pro-democracy pro icon dies at 80. Field abductions to EFCC, DSS Reps Committee tells immediately and lawyers. Which story? Any story in Vanguard? Okay, let's move on quickly to the Nigerian Tribune. Uh, any story we've not taken? Sanusi president should not be petroleum minister. Um, NJC recommends the retirement of Oshun High Court. Judge declines Adele case um, 11 request on CJ. Yangote refinery receives first crude. Okay, I think I took that story. And on any controversy over Quara on the past. No stories? Okay. Oh, my story took yeah. it's okay. <laughs> okay. Taking out okay. Out of time. So. Yes, so you're very right. That Dangote. Mm. <laughs> we need to sack the press, the, the, the <laughs> media team. <laughs> all right. That's all we can take on the front page review. When we come back, we'll move to our next segment. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Jaden, make welcome the conformist, Afrobeat historian in her right, and long standing member of the multiple award winning all female show, Your View, Omoyeni, Yeni, and Ifula Pokuti, aka Yay! YK Power! Ginger! Today, today we'll go here. Hey, hmm. I don't read you. Are you sure? Ha. Hmm. I know I'm not here to answer questions, I'm here to drink. <laughs> We're in trouble today. <laughs> ah. Wait, wait till your age. I was close now. Eh? I said 1973. He said 73. He said, I said 75. 75. I couldn't. Fellas wasn't even born to 75. Damn. So will I drink out? Eh? You can drink. Oh, take, 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 make a, make a help you. Russian, Russian, Russian. No be half. I try. Eh? Which half? <laughs> you will make me drink. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Lights in in all. Nepa, Nepa Road. <laughs> Nepa Road. Nepa Road. In a Ah ah. First of all, my brain cannot uh, memorize everything. A big black bug. A big black dog. Bug. A big black bug. Oh, sorry. A bleak. <laughs> it all starts. Omo ah, hey, Omo Omo fella, Omo Omo Anikola Pokuti. Oh no, be kini kekele. It's by your song. It's not by your song. Eh, eh. Ike Chuku or. Cross! Are <laughs> your intro without you? Wow. So there's a name that thing that's. I'm just drinking because you say I should drink. There's no particular answer. <laughs> you think it's only that can be wicked? What's the answer? Sort of huge. Eh? Yeah. They claim you did, but you said it just happened. That and it's called what again? Sort of huge. Such a huge. S U B T E R F U G. So you look me finish from head to toe. You look at a person who go know what to be called hot sauce, hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. The nude wasn't like a game plan. Or... I promise you, be it was actually a mistake. Be like I was sending it to someone, and it just mistakenly just went like that. Yeah. Fierce, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present.
come close Perfect. New your in mockbacks. I will be staring up our guests to get in depth into all the various topics, and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's your view. Join us on your view, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Testing as the arts are meant to be. Thanks for staying with us. So, a video of a Nigerian um, girl, a video of a female artist being harassed by an audience went viral. Um, the lady was performing in a very um, performance-looking way, short yellow dress. And um, we, ob we, we saw how um, men around her were touching her and indiscriminately having their way uh, with her physically. And it brings again the, to the fore the conversation concerning the objectification of women. The fact that when you see a woman, you feel it's, it's an well, a woman who is an artist. It's an opportunity for you to take advantage. And it, it reminds us of that conversation how we need to show respect for women on one hand, and also how do we preach to women on how they carry themselves but still be able to be who they are without being judged i don't know if you if you understand what i'm trying to say so the woman is an artist she feels that i'm an artist i can dress this way i can perform and part of my job is to be of service to my audience to my fans and the part of being of service to them is making my body available for them to touch and you know have fun having party it's part of the job that is on one side Others will say it's just a simple objectification of women. That's how, that's how guys are when they see women, automatically they can touch. And by the way, she's an artist. What's a big deal? It's part of the job. What are your thoughts on this? Um, you can call us on the numbers on your screen 081 076 41679, 0902 416 3440. You can tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourBTVC so we can read your tweet. Sometimes when we talk about these things, it's more about helping to change the mindset of our people. Because we are so used to doing things in a certain way, and we don't see it as wrong. So let me let, 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 let uh, BC start. What are, your, what are your thoughts on this video? Singing on stage and being molested is a different ballgame. It's not part of my job description to be touched anyhow because I decided to sing. Mm -hmm. That is wrong on all shades of it, if we look at it. And the painful part is, there were other people there watching this happen. Nobody could stand up for her. But if you dress in a seductive way... Eh, eh, there's nothing seductive about it. What, what is, that thing is not, but you, There is nothing seductive about what, what that if, girl is wearing. Well, what if it was seductive? Mm -mm, leave seduction. Okay, Even okay. if her job is to be an Olosho, mm -hmm. till you are invited, you must not touch. We have strippers in strippers club. Do you touch them? Those ones wear tongues. They barely wear anything. But their job is to dance on the pole. And you are not allowed to touch. Mm. That's the respect you give to them. Even when you are dropping money, it must not touch their skin. That's how it's done. Every job has its do's and don'ts. The mm. fact that we allowed this to happen and nobody, no security came there to help her send them away because she has not blown. Mm. If it was a blown singer now, uh -uh, the security details will not allow that kind of thing to happen. Mm. They will kick you off the stage. But because she was not blown and you know how we see artists who are still... Hustling. Hustling and trying to make it is that they can take anything. We can do anything with them and nobody will stand up for them. They are, they are like, you know, uh, 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 at the bottom of the barrel. Anything can happen and nobody. Mm. And that is exactly what happened. And my pain, even the blogger that posted this thing, did not even play her music. As in, double whammy. As they crushed the person the that is down. Silence the music, but show the shame. Mm. If he had played the music, 
out of sympathy, a lot of people will even go and stream and still even help her come to yeah. a little bit of limelight. But they silenced it. It was the shame was more interesting for people to talk about. Yeah. It was, it was, it was. We, we don't, we don't, we not try. As, As Nigerians, we know they try. So I, I feel, try. I feel funny How because about? yesterday I was fighting. Um, for on behalf of Okereka women, and today I'm fighting for a girl that. But we need to fight. We cannot say be, we, we can. Women that have a platform must always speak up for what is wrong against other women. Your silence is consent. If you are a woman and you see something bad, your silence is consent. So I call out every woman that commented that she's enjoying it, hmm. because in my mouth, what I want to say, I never ever even think about it. I was so vexed that women were tweeting that and mentioning and commenting that she enjoyed it. Because we don't know better. We've not been in the same situation. As a model, I was harassed. And even though I felt I'm a very confident person, rather than stay, I left that industry because of harassment. I'm not, I did not venture, Bisha and I met as models. I did not continue in that industry because I just could not stand it. Because I did not just could, couldn't stand it. Every woman that has to be in the entertainment industry has to always fight for her morality. And in some cases, they'll just let it go because that's the only way to get where they want Survive. to go to. So we are speaking on this because it is wrong and the organizers of that show should be punished. The boys that were there, their video, the video shows their face, they should be called out and punished as well. That is harassment, even if she does not file a complaint. Please, my dear association of activists should file a complaint on her behalf yeah, yeah. and fight and call out and punish the organizers of that event for allowing that thing to continue like that. Um, punish the, the guys that were molesting her, touching her. She didn't dress bad. I've seen worse dressings. Uh -huh. And this thing happens not just in Nigeria. I yeah, saw a video. I saw a video of Kali, um, Ka Kadi B, and she was being she was she was being harassed on stage, and she threw the like she threw her mic and yeah. hit the person, and they were like, "That's Kadi B for you. She will give it to you back." Not everybody will resort to violence. I I did a I did a run away from this industry. We need to start defending women that have been um, harassed okay, in this me, industry me, more than what we're doing so far. This is bad. Yesterday, I don't know if you were here yesterday, we took the yeah. story where we were told the young culture. girls were yeah. about culture and the young, girl, young girls were bare-chested okay. in a culture, and that is Ukrika culture in River State. And one of the questions that one of the ladies asked was that, did she complain? Mm. Right, that this is our culture. Did they complain to you that is a problem? Now, same, if, I, if I bring that question here, is the girl complaining to you? I don't like to be told. I, I, I'm, in, I'm in my industry. It comes to the territory. Am I complaining? Why are we now having a headache for somebody who doesn't look like she's complaining? Oh God. Okay, so there are two things. Um, I don't think that was part of the act. Because, yes, there are videos of musicians and performers where we watch the video and they're being touched by their male dancers. It's part of the act. But what that looked like was people taking advantage of a girl, of a vulnerable girl. Simple mm. and short. She did not have any security details. There was no one there to stand up for her and protect her. And you know what even made me sad? Is that she did not think that she could stop. That she could say, you know, I'm done. I'm not taking this. Probably too afraid of what it may mean for her career. Yeah. And thinks, let me just get to, you know, let me just do this. And when I'm done, hopefully I'll move up. That is how sad this situation is. That's how I want us to look at this. That women would go through some situations and they'll keep silent. Because if they dare not talk, they will be shamed further. Why did you wear that dress? Why are you even a musician? Why are you dancing with your legs mm -hmm. apart? We have always had entertainers from ever before. Our ancestors have always had entertainers that come to the palace and entertain the Obas and everything. The Oba will not stand up and start touching her in front of her. All the people do not stand up and start touching them. We have Arabian belly dancers yes. mm. that dance with belly anything covering their yes. chest and their, and their people respect that. Yeah. What we're seeing though, so this is not just a Nigerian problem. What we're seeing, we're seeing more and more people just getting away with bad behavior. This, mm. is, the, this is not the first time I've heard of people trying to grab onto um, artists like this. But when it happens at Broad, uh -uh. they would, they would take them. you out. Have you seen those big bouncers? Mm. The way they would manhandle. There was one particular um, incident. The way they manhandled him, his hand, your <laughs> couch, your couch into the face because the bouncer got into his face. You know, so we need to protect our artists generally, men and women. Yes. So this is also not the same as those that throw um, 
their underwear, underwear mm. to those who like it. Mm. Well, you see those who like it, they'll grab it, they'll smell it, they'll put it in their pocket, they'll talk about it. You. Yeah. There are some people that yeah, do not... the smell part. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, they I do the smell part. <laughs> <laughs> but they do so. But there are some people that, you know, do not like it. Recently, I watched a video of a Hollywood star. He's quite well known as a villain in many of the movies. And he said that when he started off, no, he had, he, was, he had gotten quite um, um, knowledge, known, he's known. And one of the things he said was that he would not um, act uh, sex scenes. He would not kiss a woman. He would not have intimacy with a woman. And he was blackballed for that. Mm. He said he lost everything because he would not do that. He said the difference for him is that, yes, he always acts the villain. And he pretends to shoot people, kill people. They don't die. But with kissing and all those intimacy, I am still, I am doing it. I'm not pretending to kiss, mm. so I will not do it. And he was blackballed. But he is able to choose and move away, you know, that protect himself. That girl did not know that she could do that. Yes, that girl did not understand. Or she knew she was just too afraid. We ah. need to stand up for our girls. We need to speak up for them. If we can find her music, in, and if we can find and imagine like, what that, blogger, if right. you who, who she is, music. that's going to show thing. that we sh um, solidarity for her. That's what that girl needs. Let me go on a quick. We're going to come back. We'll take a few phone calls and comments. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw ether material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Questions. If I, mean, I may not even ask questions. Mm. I may just. You, I may even tell you I saw this. What if, what if it's in person? Mm -hmm. But then, would it make a difference where? So, like, this person might just say, You poop can't just be on third me language. <laughs> <laughs> on a bike. <laughs> and the person say, Babe, I cannot do it again. <laughs> and you lose range. <laughs> So, oh, what would oh change? God. What would change the scenario? For, like, does it matter where? Do you want to have like a fancy dinner, I mean, like the film you were mentioning? No, 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 like funny or be right. Or do you want to be on the street? No, carry me. Don't go fancy dinner. Do you or you might just on a run for treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> or you not a job. Don't tell you, you're loose for your web. Now, don't turn attempted for that. So, what? Wh which would it be? Because I'm like. In person, you have the closure that you want and a few injuries. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> that, that's one place. It could be inside the car. You can sit inside the car. Why car? Why not bike? Who will be driving? Why bike? Who will be no, driving no, at this car point? will be stationary. Pray I'm not the, the one driving. The car will be pray. stationary. Because I'll go, I'll go mass at them. You can't be told me like me. I'm going to drive there water where we're going. You must be considered. Ike Chuku, Sunday, Okonkwo, aka Cross. <laughs> now your intro without you. Know? Wow. So there's a name that thing that's. I'm just drinking because you said I should drink. There's no particular answer. I think it's only that can be wicked. What's the answer? Sort of huge. Eh? Yeah. They claim you did, but you said it just happened. That and it's called what again? Sort of huge. Sort of huge. S U B T E R F U G. So you look me finish from head to toe. You look at a person who go know what to be called. Hustle, hustle, hustle. 
<laughs> the nude wasn't like a game plan. Or I promise you, it was actually a mistake. Be like, it was sending it to someone and it just mistakenly just went that. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the producer ambassador of Edo people, we have Etinosa Idemudia in the building. <laughs> Not be first to go police station, they win the case. Is so she? you don't, you are showing no, your face. No, I don't see that as my second question. You are feeling like a, a contact the prancing peacock. I'm about to cut your wings. Hello? Now, in the amalgamation of 1914, who was... We're still discussing this video. Uh, we couldn't show it because of obviously uh, we, it's too uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's really discomforting to show that kind of video on, on national television. But I think the conversation of objectivity of objectifying a woman is not just as an artist, but also with actresses, models, various professions. I know somebody who um, her aunt was telling me. I've never met her, but her aunt was telling me that her niece. Um, was being asked to sleep with the producer to get a role, you know, and she, she, she was shocked when she now saw her niece in the movie, in the in the film, because her, sister now, her niece now sent it. So she had complained initially. She tried to advise her not to, and then she doesn't know who else advised her. And then suddenly she sent it to family members that, oh, I, I'm, in, I'm in the movie, and she didn't even, she couldn't ask. Mm. Her, wow. Did you, did you not? How did it happen? You know, mm. but she just, she just felt that, you know, she, I guess the kind of person she was, she just didn't feel like she's in true because she's an adult. You can ask a child, but for an adult, she has made her decision. So in some industries, it comes with the territory. So my question is, do we, how do we, do we reform the industry or do we accept it as it is that you are only going to be an artist? It comes with the territory. You will go on, on stage. Men will grope you. They will try to touch you. When you blow, you cannot get a bouncer. But until then, because the truth is that those artists that have bouncers, they probably had experienced such yeah. mm -hmm. when they were climbing. So now they have bouncers. So it's like a rite of passage. Like, okay, this is how it would happen to you. Oh you just have to accept it. Is, 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 is that something that uh, you can consider? So the first thing is to teach our people to have enough self-respect and self-esteem that if situations like this happen you can walk away but before expatiating on this walking away we need to also understand how the human mind works sometimes when things that are shocking happen to you you have three or four responses freeze. light mm. fight mm. or freeze for people like me, you don't collect. I'm always in my fight mood most of the time, right? Yes. For other people, they, they are frozen. Like, they don't know, should I go ahead? Should I continue? If I pause to, what, what do I do? What, they are thinking of so many scenarios. They can't even comprehend it. For others, they run away. They can drop the mic and just disappear. So when we judge people, people on their reaction first, Instead of looking at what caused that reaction, we have missed it. Thank you. Because that reaction can come either way, depending on where the person's mind is, or her personality, or who she is. So, she so could those who are arguing that she did yes, not, she, she liked was, it, she was enjoying it. She may she not have been frozen. enjoying it, but she could have been frozen. Or she had so much fear that anything can happen. This may be the end of this career if I do it this way. She could have just been frozen. Not everybody can fight. Not everybody can walk away. And that's why we must uh, our young people to build enough self-respect and self-love so that you get into that industry. One of the reasons I did my very first love, and I know most people don't know this because that's like the last thing I now started doing, was acting. I got admission to study. Two, my name came out in two departments, um, uh, theater arts and political science after I wrote JAM because I was already doing pre-degree in French. And my father said, lie, lie, you cannot take yeah. theater arts because all of them, they are prostitutes. I don't want you to be dancing naked and people are touching you and all of that. He was a bit of an arts person, so he mm. understood how that worked. But I told myself, okay, even if I study political science, Jenny Vivi's acting, she didn't read 
uh, theater. I can always come back to this. And that was my consolation. And then I started my study and met a boyfriend who said, I can never marry an actor. Lie, lie. Mm. All of them are this yeah. way and that way. Yeah. I don't like their lifestyle. And I said, okay. And that was how I abandoned this dream that I'm now beginning to find mm. because of the perception of people. And I had friends that went ahead into the industry and they would come back and gist mm. how things That's were it. happening, how directors would tell you they want to bed you to be able to give you roles. I had a few of them who would walk away mm. and say, I am not doing and make their own money and come back and produce their own. Mm. I had a few of them. Mm. But it took them knowing who they were and knowing that they will not be able to fall for this. And so when I wanted to go back into entertainment, I was coming from a place of power. If I come on your set and you look at me and tell me you want something, I'll tell you what and then I walk away <laughs> because I had the power and I had the means. Mm. But not everybody will wait till they get to that point. So we must raise our people. And also the management must protect your artist. It is a shame that I organize a show and this is happening to somebody that had paid to come and perform or that begged me that I wanted to perform. This is happening and I do not do anything about it. And I proudly say I am social so media entertainment company. It's mm. a shame. Mm -hmm. We should begin to shame those companies so that we can change the narrative. Right. A lot of talented people are not getting into the industry because, because of this wrong yeah. perspective. Yeah. What how some bad people have Turn it around that once you say you're an actor or you're a singer, you are seen automatically as a prostitute. Please, let's change it. The crux of the Me Too movement in America. Mm. What was it? It was, I mean, we saw big name Media. artists, big name Media. actresses. Called out. Big name actresses telling us about issues like this where producers and directors are saying, will not give you a role if you don't bed me. You know, it's, it's sometimes, it's not even about power. Mm. You know, it's, I mean, it's not about means. It's just really about power. You may have all the money, but you're not the director. You're not the company, the owner of the uh, movie company. So you would always find someone ahead of you. And many of them, you know, uh, some of them will tell you how they refuse and somehow they still got in yeah. through. But then there's some that didn't say yes. much and people suspected that maybe they had to do those you things mean. to be where they are today. But I wanted to go back to, you know, reactions to when things happen. And I like that you mentioned the freeze, flight, and fight. I re uh, and I don't say this because this happened to me. And um, sometimes we judge people for how they react. And mm. different reactions mm. have different potential for how the things will eventually turn out. Yeah. In university, one night I was going to study. My university, Abu Zari, at that time was relatively safe. You can wake up at 2 a.m. and walk from your hostel to the lecture hall or any of the you know, lecture halls and it will be safe back and forth, you may be just one or two people in that whole place, it was relatively safe. You have security working here and there. This particular day, from nowhere, someone grabs me from behind and I turn and I see this boy. And he smelled like there was something on his alcohol on his breath, mm. you know. And he grabbed me and was talking to me as if he knew me. He had his hand all over me. It was freeze. Mm. Physically frozen, but my mind was working. I looked around. If I scream, nobody will hear. So what I did, I now sort of engaged him, did like we were in this together, walked. I now pushed, Led. sort of directed him towards a lecture hall that had light. As we got up the stairs, someone I know just saw me. I was like, I'm here. The moment that person called my name, the way he flew out. That was when I just burst into tears. I was like, oh. look at what happened to me, you know. But if I had fought uh -uh. Yeah. at that time, what would have happened? Would have you know, you would have grabbed place. Yes. Yeah, so sometimes, like in that situation, she may have also looked at it. it. If I fight here, this boy is beat me. Nobody even looked to help me yes. stop me now. And then they beat me. Mm -hmm. Let me just do like this, like this, until I can live here safely. Like so do not judge the reaction. Yeah. Judge what comes. Oh, reaction. I think we can end the show yeah. with that. <laughs> Let me come to you talk where we wrap up on this. So, um, you know, when we're talking about a lot of comments on social media, we're coming to say that um, the acting, the modeling, and entertainment industry has a lot of abuse. Um, deal with it. And that's because we've accepted it that this is our norm. Um, and I'm happy that Marianne brought up the Me Too movement because the Me Too movement was predicated on media, like the media industry brought it out. And we heard names of people that claimed that they were being abused or uh, abused got them their job. And we are going to say this because there are young upcoming artists 
that have their future ahead of them and they should not have to bow to abuse. They shouldn't have to be, um, they shouldn't have to see this as their only option. I had the option of walking away while I wanted to act. I really, really wanted to act. I thought that was my line. I'm going to be in the entertainment place and it did not work out. Why? Because I was confronted with having to sacrifice my, um, sacrifice my values. So I, like I walked away. But I had options. There are people that did not have another mm. option. I had a family that, were, that did not really want me in the entertainment and they would be so happy. They were so happy that I said, I'm not doing it again. I had parents that I had a home. Some people have left the village to come to Lagos for this movie industry thing. I, I was talking to um, someone, um, someone in my church and she was saying that she walked from Yaba to Ikeja after an audition. She mentioned another actor that they worked together from Yaba to Ikeja from audition. That kind of person and other people, if you find yourself in the same way, you have anywhere to stay. I came to Lagos for this audition. This audition must work and they say, sleep with me this night for the audition to work. They would go ahead because that's their only option that they feel they have at that moment. We need to give women more options, and we need to take away the power that some people feel they have. In this case, these boys don't even have any power. These boys were just badly behaved boys that, uh, that were being, that they, there was nothing, they were being encouraged to display their bad behavior. These boys didn't have any power, and they were grabbing, touching, looking, no. Um, punishments, we, it's not just about shaming and naming and shaming. This it goes beyond naming and shaming. For me, punishment needs to be met and it needs to be done publicly. The artist must be brought out. She shouldn't feel shame. Can we not shame the victim? Because for me, in this case, this, this young lady is a victim of harassment. She shouldn't be shamed. If she receives support, she can step out and call out those people that took her to do that show, that did not give her enough protection. So we support, provide support for her, provide her platform to get... Um, um, justice for herself, and that would act as a punitive measure, preventing others from thinking they can do this. Okay, as we take a few comments and wrap up on this, you know, we also need more male role models. You see, mm. we need men to start, start these conversations because we've done this has become so normal, but it has become the norm for many years. Where we see a lady, a performer, you know, we just take advantage of young women, especially those who are vulnerable, and we need more men talking around this, re-educating, reorientating boys, men, responsible men. Because there was a video that somebody sent to me, uh, a veteran, I think, somebody sent a video to me, two young boys called where maybe engaging a veteran. The veteran called into their, to, into their IG live. And instead of them to acknowledge, and so they started yapping him. Yeah. Like, you never die. You have hey. You know, I, I can't remember if it was a veteran's IG live they called into or something. I can't remember what it was. But this is somebody that is highly respected. Mm -mm. And they're asking me, you know, guy, you never die. You're still there. Ah, I think so. You don't, you don't, you don't buy. And I'm thinking. And they will, you and laugh at young it. people. And they laugh. And people will be commenting. But you know, so we need more men coming out to talk. A lot of these boys need direction. Yes, we've lost it in the foundation. But can we rebuild? Can we talk more to young people about about bad behavior? How do we begin to change society? This is a whole gamut of conversations. But unfortunately, we have to wrap up. Let's take a few comments and we're done with this. Any comments? Um, so... Truth is truth said, um, okay, she was he's talking about someone personal. Mina says, you two, tell us the name of the artist. They, are, they think Mariah knows the name of the artist and we're coding the name. We don't know oh, the name of the artist. No. Um, Fiona yeah, says, <laughs> um, Mount Rushman said, it happens everywhere in the world. Men like to take advantage of women at the slightest opportunity. Uh, Mina said, thankfully, Nollywood has loads of female producers, directors, and executive yeah, producers yeah, now. So I expect that this will reduce the trend of sex for role. Um, um, Damilola says, I am not in support of what the guys are doing to the lady on stage, by the way, but this, happen, but this happens on a usual day to male folks as well, and men, especially ladies, never see it this way. And we mentioned it that some male artists also get touched and they are uncomfortable, yeah. you know, and we okay. say it's wrong for people to, to grow up. A male artist as That's well. all we can take on this, but we really hope this conversation will start many other conversations on how we can help us behave better. Let's go on a break. When we come back, move to our next segment. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I can ask questions if I want to ask questions. And if it's something that I saw coming, I may not even ask questions. I may just... I may even tell you I saw this what coming. If, what if it's in person, mm -hmm. but then would it make a difference where so like this person might just say you put, can just be on third me language <laughs> on a bike <laughs> and the person say 
Babe, I cannot do it again. <laughs> and you lose rain. <laughs> So, what would oh change? God. What would change the scenario? For, like, does it matter where? Do you want to have like a fancy dinner, yeah, like the film you were no, mentioning? No, 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 no. Like, find it up here. Or do you want to be on the street? No, carry me. No, no, no. Or even just, you want just on a rub or treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> or you not a job. You don't tell you, you're loose for your web. Now, I don't turn attention to that. So, what, which, which would it be? Because I'm like, in person, you have the closure that you want and a few injuries. Yes. <laughs> that, that's one place. It could be inside the car. You can sit inside the car. Why car? Why not bike? Who will be driving? Why bike? Who will be no, driving no, no, like this The car point? will be stationary. Pray I'm not the, the one driving. The car will be pray. stationary. Because I'll go, I'll go mass at it. You can't be told me like me. I'm going to drive near water. Where, where. Only, only, you only must only consider. <laughs> Ike Chuku, Sunday, Okonkwo, aka Cross. <laughs> Are your intro without you? Know? Wow. So there's a name that thing that's. I'm just drinking because you said I should drink. There's no particular answer. I think it's only that can be wicked. What's the answer? Sort of huge. Eh? Yeah. They claim you did, but you said it just happened. That and it's called what again? Sort of huge. Such a huge. S U B T E R F U. So you look me finish from head to toe. You look at a person who go no way to be called hustle, hustle, hustle. <laughs> yeah. The nude wasn't like a game plan or I promise you be it was actually a mistake. Be like it was sending it to someone and it just mistakenly just okay, went that, yeah. You know, Benga right here, seven of seven, like I'm beginning to know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. 
It's now time for the question. You don't scare me one bit. Bata bata, I go drink. So. Okay. So, now one chance going to. My, my first, first question. question. Do you remember the names of the winners of that edition of StarQuest? Of course I do. Why uh, do you? And I, and, I, and, I, and I hate myself for this. Because I have this question for you. Final question. No. Where, where outside Nigeria and what year? I think you're the only one that can be wicked. I am thinking because I know back in the day. Don't think, oh, don't think. Answer my question quick, quick. You are thinking too much. I don't like it. The UK. Final answer. <laughs> okay. I said, God, God, please. Let me to perform outside Nigeria. Wait, 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 wait. And God wait. gave me a trip, a show in Ghana. <laughs> Drink, my friend, drink, 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 drink. I know. I don't, I don't overthink this thing. See where I can. Yes, you overthink him. I would say you should catch one. <laughs> Let's catch one. <laughs> Where are we? No, that's not catch one. That's, that's good. The, that's that's the good. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us, joining the show right now. Hmm. He's an award-winning, <laughs> beautiful, yeah. -ge -ge. lovingly, mm -hmm. happy <laughs> actress, director, fashionista, businesswoman, <laughs> best known for her Yoruba indigenous <laughs> movies. She kicked off her acting career by starring in some soap operas, including popular TV dramas like Papa Jasko, before joining Nollywood industry in 2006. In the course of her career, she has won several international and local times. awards. Welcome with us yeah, yeah, as we yeah. welcome <clears throat> none other than Mercy Aibe Adelphi. You know how many years it took you to come to this is show? Right. Yeah, 10 years. I'm always running, no. Ah, finally. <laughs> finally. Come on, we're happy. <laughs> we're happy to, happy have, to you. have you. But I'm glad show. to be here. I'm, yes. I'm a huge fan of this thank show. You, I thank watch you. it all the thank time. So and much. you ladies are doing amazing. Aww. I'm so proud of we're you. We're so, so happy for you. you Even so, though at times, some of you, by all of me, we'll talk about that one later. You guys are just doing an amazing So, so happy to have you. Right, so. Before you came on the show, we were discussing a young girl who was being groped. She was actually performing. And all these men were just touching her and taking advantage. And then we have two ladies who have been in modeling in this country. And said they know the experience of young people and how they are, they are usually taken advantage of by the producers, the directors, the, what they call them, the um, entertainers, the, um, the, the, uh, the label owners. Yeah. You know, they always take advantage of these and people. Promoters. Management, promoters and all that. And we feel that it is time for us to begin to educate young people. Young people are not, they are not empowered enough, especially when they're trying to blow. They're still hustling. In your, in your own experience, because you've been through various stages, now mm. nobody can group you because you're you producing your own movies. Yes, mm. so. But when you were there, how was it? Could you share a few experiences in the beginning? Mm. And how do you think we can begin to change? I, I am of the opinion that whatever you don't want to do, nobody can actually force you to do it. Mm. And I would just like to quickly mm. briefly share my own experience yeah. when I got into Hollywood. So, you know, we used to um, gather our winnies then, so Larry, and I met this um, producer, and I was like, oh, sir, hey, I have, I'm talented. I want to go into acting, blah, blah, blah. And that's why I'm here. And then he said, oh, he has an upcoming film. And then I should come to his office mm -hmm. for audition, actually. And then, you know, I went for audition. I went first uh, level. Second one, I went. Third one, I went. And then the last one that I went. And I, I, I actually thought I did well. Yeah. 
yeah. because I gave you my all. I'll go home, rehearse, look at the mirror, read my lines, and all those things just to convince them that yeah. I've had that talent. And I saw that last just coming to his office one day, and then he said, he just gave me one part, one very tiny part, maybe just one line, mm -hmm. while I was auditioning for like the um, sub lead, yeah. the sub lead of the movie. And he just said, oh, mercy, take. And I'm like, sir, but this is not the... Um, character part, that I've yeah. been auditioning for. I've been coming here days now, like yeah. four days now. And then why am I getting this part? And I said, actually, uh, the director said that, um, you know, he doesn't know you. And I'm ah. like, was that not the reason you've been coming for essence audition? of the audition? So he oh, no. said that he doesn't know you. And that's why I said that you should be close to me. Mm. Apparently, I'd been making passes at me before then, but it didn't come out mm. straight until that day. And then he stood up and, you know, was trying to right, touch. Did you freeze or did you fight or did you, or did run you take away? flights? I was just very upset and I'm like, sir, calm, <laughs> calm down. I've seen the look <laughs> on your face. No, no, but like, seriously, <laughs> just thinking back. I was like, I was livid. I was like, you can't do this to me. This I earned fighter. this role. Yeah. Mm. I know that I earned it. So why are you not coming to come and give me this kind of this thing? Yeah. Okay, I am not doing this. In fact, you know what? I don't want to be part of this production wow. anymore. Even as a young. Yes. I was just so upset because you were throwing it at my face. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a huge insult on my person. Hmm. And then I just carried the thing. I tore it. Is it like? Yeah, you're a fighter. fighter. And I so, took it and I said, you know what? I'm not, if this is what it takes for me to be an actor, I don't think I want to even be an actress mm, anymore. Wow. So on my way home, I cried. I started crying because I had left a good paying job to join on Oh, my Lord. Yeah. And then I was already a single mom. So I cried and all those things. But guess what? Fast forward to today. Nobody, that, that producer, nobody knows him anymore. Yeah. Imagine that. Hmm. Look at that. That's yes. It disappears. It's powerful. Yes. One. Nobody yeah. knows him anymore. Yeah. I, have, I have been humiliated. I cannot forget one particular day that I went for a camera audition. And then the men, I don't want to mention that. Yes. yes. And they sat down there and they were like, uh, because one of them actually toasted me before then. Yeah. And I was on his... Um, show i was on his series and then you know when you when i was on set he would be sending me a message yes. you are so sexy today yeah. i love to wearing uh, but, but, no but seriously that's, yeah. that was my experience yeah. and yeah. i'm happy that i'm sharing it because yeah. i went through it and i didn't give in so i'm just sharing this to encourage someone yeah. out there that you don't have to give in mm. okay just stress focus yes and then he sends and then you know what happened the next time on the series i just saw that they had yanked off my yeah. role and said that my character has died <laughs> in an accident. <laughs> it wasn't funny. Oh. Hmm. And then when I called him, I was like, hey, she be are doing, she be hmm. are. And then I said, anyway, my friend is auditioning for another artist. If you want to come, Mumu me, I carried myself. I went. <laughs> Thinking that. Yes, I auditioned. They now called me to their midst. Oh my God. Hmm. That was one of the most, most. Embarrassing, humiliating. Day of my life. They were like, do you think you are fine? Hmm. You that your legs are like this. Eh? You that are this thing. You're not even uh, camera friendly. You're not for camera. Yeah, whatever. Camerogenic or if there is a word for that. Yeah. Meaning that I'm not even fine on camera. Yeah. Yeah. That I'm not even on. appealing to the eyes on camera. Yeah. That this, 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 and this. Personally trying to yeah. subdue you. Yes. Subdue you mentally. Mercy, yeah. I'm happy that you're talking about this. And then but guess what happened? what happened that day? After that day. I dusted my CV and, and started looking for a job and said, oh, come, I'm done with this acting mm. thing. Mm. If this is what happens here, I don't want to be part of it. Fighter. Yes. <laughs> so what, what, what it took me a while to now say, okay, let me, let me try right. again. Mm. All right, let me come to my so who? Okay, so many times when we talk to actors, they will tell you, well, I hear about it, but it has never happened to me. Hmm. Almost like it's a secret. It did happen to me. Yes, I know. It happened. But is it something that is... That is um, Prevalent? I know it's prevalent, but is it something that you can notice? Like, if you know if you're in a, in a setting with another actress that's going through, is this something that you can notice, that someone else noticed? No. Or they isolate you in such a way that other people don't know what is happening to you? Because I wonder why we don't stand in sometimes for people who are going protect. through, example, protect each other. Because people don't talk. And mm. then when you don't share, how would people know? Mm. People like this story that I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I didn't, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't mm. share with any, anybody. Just, uh, I just made up my mind that, okay, I'm not going to be part of this. I don't want to do this. And I felt so insulted. So, in fact, they, they nearly killed my self-esteem. Mm. Yes. But because you're a fighter, yeah. you could resist it. Mm. But those who are freezing, also, and who yeah. may never have... People um, also um, will not know, like the question you mm. asked, 
because sometimes the actors now involved will now take it as it's part of the sacrifice. Well, I was, I was going to say yes. it. They even because said they will call it's part of the. The, right of passage. Is, okay. Yes, my dude. You see, they will mention names. names. They will tell you yeah. that this one says yes, she did so, it. Yes, so. And this one says they will be called. Yeah. The, the last that, the, the last the person I just left. This one too did it. So you feel like ah, my reaction is weird. So the, were you? We were also quoted like that. Yes, the last story that I shared where do these men? Mm. These men, mm. they kept <laughs> mentioning big, big names and Not said, it. oh, you, this person, are you even as fine as this person? Mm. And this person, and I hated me. this person. Mm. And then there's other the person, there's, the, there's a particular person that uh, her role is in her waist, like, meaning that once she gives you waist, she gets, yeah. that she steps away through uh, to the lying. top. Yes, oh, and we were saying a lot of things. Well, so they would make you believe that that is but the norm. Do you feel that? People see you, you're pretty, you're attractive. Thank they can't believe you, auntie, <laughs> you, that you did somebody. There's no way. No matter how I did on mercy, see how fine she is. There's no way you, because many, we judge people like you. Mm. That there's no way she did it through merit. It's, mm. it's impossible. Mm. This fine girl like this, there's no oh, way. Yeah, somebody yeah. did something. See, let me tell you something about myself. Like you noticed, I'm a fighter. Mm. And I don't like you bringing it's crap to my face. Like I don't like it. So because I had that experience, in, from my initial stage into Nollywood, I just had this resolve that anybody, even if you find, even if I like you, I will not date you. Mm. Because it's, it, it can so happen that you get someone that you fancy. Mm. Yeah. Because, of course, it's an industry that has the male and the female, yeah. and then somebody. But just because of what happened, I just now categorized all the men in the industry mm. as mm. the same. Perfect. The same. <laughs> so I just had that resolve that nobody, so. I did not do it. I didn't have to do it. And I made my way to the top through hard work, consistency. I had a lot of challenges, but I just kept going because I was more focused on my goal. So um, it's weird because it seems like the script, this is quoting the script that may have heard. You are quoting the same script that I've heard. So it means that that script must have worked on a few people. And, it's and those things work because people are silent. So yeah. the more share the script we hear mm. it helps some other young artists know that oh so this thing they're telling me they said it to other people too and some people made it without falling for that script i would also make it without falling for that script absolutely Can you share with us how you got your first big role what what who did how did god make it happen well, well, the circumstances yes right. okay so my my first big role would be in a way more loopholes uh, movie titled ara um, when Mo Lupol is a big uh, producer in Ibadan, based in Ibadan. But before then, I tried English, you know, Nollywood. Like, I don't like to differentiate. I believe that we are one Nollywood. Yeah. But I tried the speaking, English speaking side, and then I wasn't getting it. And then a friend of mine said, Mercy, you're, you speak Yoruba very well, even though you are not a Yoruba girl. And you're beautiful and all that. So why don't you try Yoruba and all that? So she introduced me to someone. Someone introduced me to someone. And one day, Uncle Wemi called me and said, Oh, Mr. Egbe, blah, blah, blah. I have a script for you. I almost fainted. Aww. Aww. Ah. Aww. I almost fainted. It was like your big break. Yes, it was, actually. And then he sent the script to me. And I was like, am I dreaming? Yes, and so that's how I landed that role in that film titled Ara. And that film actually shot me to limelight to God oh, be the glory. Fantastic. So I want to give God the glory also that I didn't have to tarry too much on <laughs> too. <laughs> because, yeah, because at times it's not easy. Some people might just, you have that result from the beginning, but when you're too, when, mm. when you don't get what you want early, early you it's might fall by yes. You understand? So, but all I'm saying is that you don't have to do it. Okay. You, and then now, the good thing is that we have social media. Yes. I tell the youngsters, yes. you can build your brand on social yes. media. Yes. Producers will be chasing after you. Okay. Mm. Instead of you, you, yes, instead of you using your social media to throw people, to go and be uh, abusing people, uh, kineko, kineko, use it as your CV. Yeah, mm. Exactly. Let me go on a very short yes. break. When we come back, we continue. There's so much to talk about. She has a movie out yes. and she's in love. Yes. 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 We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, 
multiple award-winning actor, producer, ambassador of Edo people. We have Etinosa Idemudia in the building. <laughs> Not be first to go police station, they win the case. Is so she? you don't, you are showing. No, I go, I go see that's my second question. You are feeling like a, a contact the prancing peacock. I'm about to cut your wings. Hello. Now, in the amalgamation of 1914, who was the woman who that. said, who drew the line of the amalgamation? Is they, who, who cut, who cut the report? Who is the better? You see, what's that That woman. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, you have done me, Jerry. I've marked your face. I've marked your face if anything happened to me today. I don't, I don't if I don't reach my house. Anyway, I'm going to be shuffled, so... Mm. You remember now, Avi? Eh? Yeah, but you never took the name. Uh, now you remember. Hey! If a person who indulges habitually in watching a sexual material is called a voyeur... That's what I'm called. <laughs> You clearly say you don't go even get the uh, next one. Hey, 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 voyeur. Voyeur. Then go on. What is a person who makes one? A voyeur. <laughs> a voyage. <laughs> a bon voyage. Ike Chuku, Sunday, Okonkwo, aka Cross. <laughs> Are your intro without you? Wow. So there's a name that thing that's. I'm just drinking because you say I should drink. There's no particular answer. <laughs> you think it's only that can be wicked? What's the answer? Sort of huge. Eh? Yeah. They claim you did, but you said it just happened. That and it's called what again? Sort of huge. Such a huge. S U B T E R F U. So you look me finish from head to toe. You look at a person who go know what to be called. <laughs> yeah. The nude wasn't like a game plan. Or... I promise you, be it was be actually a mistake. Be like be it was sending it to someone, and it just mistakenly just. Was it that? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, who can make time stand still forever? Mr. Kelechi Amadi. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm good, my brother. You love that intro, have you? Yeah. It was great. Okay. Yeah. Thank we, you. We, we, thank we you. try like that. Thank you, thank you. Now my question, which I feel is a cheap question. Well, go ahead. What does ISO stand for? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. hmm. That is it. I think I'll drink. <laughs> no, you're joking. I'm not joking. Clear your mouth. No. She didn't want me. Thanks for staying with us. We still have with us Messi Aigwe Atioti with us. Um, so before the break, we know you have a movie, and we're going to talk about the movie in a minute, but we can't talk about your movie without mentioning the fact that you're in love. Mm. You yeah, seem man. very happy. Even sitting on your you're just vibrating. I'm blushing. You know, when you see a woman who is in love, I'm the way they talk is different from a woman who is just husband. You can see every tail over you. Tell us about your love life. I'm about blushing. How did you meet your husband? Ah. The drama that happened. Ah. If you would like to. I'm blushing. I'm blushing. <laughs> like, I don't want to allow. <laughs> The thing, of course, I love my husband. I love my husband so very much. I don't think any woman would have gone through what I went through mm. if it wasn't love. Mm. Really, because I didn't have to. I mean, I'm comfortable to go with mm. glory. I, you know, I have kids. I have, so it's love. It's love that did that for me. So it's because of love that I, I, I did what I did and I, I remarried. I'm such a lover girl. I'm very tell. emotional. You can tell. A uh, hey, baby doll. Hey, hey I'm such tell. a lover girl. I love, I just, I love love. I mean, you can yeah. tell. I love love. Yeah, then you also had to change your religion from Christianity to 
Islam. I did, you, you made it sound as if, oh, it's just like, yes, no. I didn't have to, I just decided on, on my own. And see, it was because of your husband. I'm in love now. Because you love him so much. Wait, there are different ways of capturing the gospel. The love carried you. To go and be, I like that. No, that. How did your family members take it? Okay, so uh, uh, I'm a 45 year old woman now. Yes, I, I yes. come on, I'm responsible for my actions, my actions and my decisions. And so what that. led you to that decision? I can't believe your family. I have finished. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So the thing is, when it comes to religion, I am a very liberal person when it comes to religion. And then, yes, I love my husband very much. And then, um, my husband is very religious also, you know, he prays you know, and all those, all those things. And he's someone that I admire a lot. So I just felt that, oh, while mm, already after COVID, I was almost struggling with, yeah, you know, yes, and all that. And, you know, I just decided to, you know, just follow my husband. And, and you know, the thing actually makes, it made our Love bond tighter and sweeter and it, it's exciting for me because I'm, I'm learning the religion i'm learning how to pray and everything so it's it's new and it's exciting and at the end of the day we have plenty of questions for you we are we are we are serving one god okay. you know that's my opinion <laughs> Uh, let me just take you back a bit. You know, one of the first time I had heard about you was from your first marriage and how it ended. And now you're in a good place. I'm happy for you. Thank you. There's so many women who find themselves where you were many years ago and they're thinking, would this ever turn around for me? What are the steps that you took to finally find yourself in, you know, in such a healthy relationship that you're in right now? Uh, um... How do I answer this question? <laughs> so the thing for me is that with my pa when my past um, marriage ended, mm. I just made up my mind that I wasn't going to try anymore mm. because it was one of the lowest periods of my life. I mean, you know, I don't even want to talk about it because when I think about it, ah, you have no idea how traumatizing the whole situation I, and, and the experience was for me. So I had made up my mind I was just going to focus on my kids and my career and my business and blah 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 and all those things and then love came calling ah. <laughs> so you were not looking for it i wasn't actually and then love came calling and i'm like okay this is my friend you know i i love what we share as friends and then some one thing one thing one thing and it's like oh messy are you not thinking of remarrying Marry. i'm like marriage i don't think i want to remarry but at the end of the day i'm like Okay, I feel I, I could feel it in my gut that this right was the right wow. person for me to be with because the energy, the chemistry, everything was just so sweet, and that's why I decided to just do it. Okay, so, can I? Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to take you from within that love space into your movie because. Um, you have a very supportive partner. Like, you are married. Best, best husband, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, right. if you're watching, yeah. Take your kids. <laughs> best husband, so, 2020. Um, and you guys have operately worked together. Yes, we do. Yes. So, how has it been, as working together in strengthened your relationship or it has made you think about it a bit because I, I see he did content for you for I'm this telling you I'm this or more uh, he yeah, did content so he's yeah. acting yes. because of you yeah. it was not an actor tell us about that. Tell he's us not about a skit maker <laughs> <laughs> you know when I see comments people are like ah somebody's that hard I'm like look this man you guys don't know this man he's a very supportive person mm. not just because I'm his wife he's mm. supportive too he's actually everybody's favorite uncle Wow. Everybody's favorite friend, wow. everybody's favorite brother, because he's always there for you, you know, everyone around him. So he's, he's very supportive. And then working together has actually strengthened our bond. Mm -hmm. we, we had worked, prior to this time, we had worked together because he was my marketer. He's still my marketer, actually sells my movies and all that. But this one is like we're working closely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Teammates. Right? Yes, they're teammates. And it has really, really, like, really really made us very very close yeah. because right. there are some things i didn't know about him in terms of work right. that i you come to yeah. know now and there are some things that i didn't so we we, we look for a way to to maneuver mm. and then land on a common ground when mm. it has to work. let me call for your movie now so those can watch um, the clip the trailer. trailer okay all right like i said uh, 
earlier, we have the legendary Chief Adewale Ayuba on the bandstand. Are you, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Or am I just overthinking everything? I don't think we should jump into any conclusion because of this picture. Shut your mouth. You're asking me to shut my mouth? Shut it. Koshida! Koshidanu! She said Koshidanu. That when a Yoruba woman tells you Koshidanu, it means war. This is the time for us to go to Plan B! Bombardment! What we did, we were just trying to protect. No, Daddy, nobody protects anybody with lies. No. This is epic. I took off and learn you. The father didn't share. I gotta see that. I have to yeah. see it. What? Yeah. Oh, do you, oh, I don't even know where to start. Yeah. This is just, jumping yeah, thing. Just, um, tell us a bit. Just a sneak peek into the movie. Um, I understand it's about um, two cultures merging. How yes. did you decide it's, to do it's a, story like It's that? a cross-cultural film. Mm. The Igbo and Yoruba culture. And it's just me celebrating these two cultures. Right. Mm. And um, yeah, we're, we're different in some ways but we can always find a common ground and be in it looks like you spent a lot of money on that one. i did tell us tell us i, I, mean, I push, uh, that's what i thought my husband was the car <laughs> so is he is he the is he the, is he the back the back he's the front the back yes, caller so he's the executive producer of the executive. film oh. and you know i also a producer he was on set from day one to oh. the last day wow. oh my god i I love seeing all the old actors. Yeah. You know, that's what the, I forgot the Igbo, the guy, the which one, Charles Okafor. Yes, I was yes. happy to see Charles Okafor. I haven't seen him in a bit. Yes, you. you I, when you started, when we were interviewing you, you mentioned the fact that there is no, you don't like them saying Yoruba and Hollywood that were all yeah, together. Yeah. And I think you've used your movie to actually even buttress that. Yeah, yeah. that much more. And I want to talk about how was it produced? How was it? De um, Producing a movie that they're speaking different languages or directing a movie that's speaking different languages. Because you have to understand what they are saying. Do you understand Ibo and I know you're saying Ibo, but yeah, how was it? I had um, two directors on this job. Oh, yeah. I didn't direct it. So the other director understands Ibo and the other one understands Yoruba. Oh. So that's that way we're able to, you know, oh, achieve okay. that. And then, you know, it's a merge of old Nollywood, and new yeah. Nollywood. Yeah. Even the, the Gen Z had a yes, representation uh, in the film in the person of Tomi Ujo. She's, yeah. doing, she's an amazing actress wow. and she's doing very well. So we had Charles Okafor, who this film is like a major comeback for him. Oh, he has been off the scene okay. for a while. Wow. So it's like a major comeback for him. And we had uh, the legendary Chiweta Lagu yes. in the film. Who is, did he serenade us in the language? That's what I was <laughs> I like spice always. it up with, you know, some a bit of comedy, yeah. and the sweet Igbo language. When, when is it coming out? What, what okay, it's going to be in the cinemas from December 15, mm -hmm. which is next week, okay. Friday, which is seven days to oh, today. Wow. The same, same day as Funky Akindele's movie? Yes, it's the same day. Ah. And I know a lot of people, conversation has been ongoing. People are like, oh, why did they choose? 
the thing is, I actually announced my date first. Yeah. I, I announced my date. I chose the first. I announced the first. But it's all good. I just feel that, you know, it's a good thing that women are do, we are doing yeah. this. Yeah, thing. it's amazing. So, and I feel that we can all win together. Yeah. Everybody's going to be so that we're all going to be good. We win together yeah. because these are great movies. And, you know, these are what people want to see. Mm. So and I'm sure Tell they'll come and see Tell me how you feel it. about this particular movie. How Which you one? This movie, your new movie. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about your journey from where you started, from when they were putting in the middle of men, and mm. here you are today. Look at what you I, have created. The, Tell me how you feel about that. I feel so very emotional about mm. this film because the last time I shot cinema projects was like probably like 15 years ago. So this is like my first major film because the dynamics has changed. Mm. Mm. It is not the same. Hey. So I feel very emotional. It's a dream come through for me actually. Wow. Because beginning of this year, I told God, I said, God, I want to, I want to, I have a story that I want for the big screen, mm. big screen alone. And then I want to shoot this big screen properly the way it should be done. I want to see to Tick the boxes of a great film. Yes. Mm, that was the agenda. And you know, so when we when I put everything together, the budget was huge. Mm. And I'm like, God, where will I see this money? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting on your behalf. <laughs> I'm like, God, where will I see this money? But seeing my oh God, I'm going to start. I don't want to get emotional, but it's okay. No, it's okay. Let me just emotional. let me just um make um give this special shout out to Jade Oshibero. I don't want to cry. It's okay to cry. It's okay. I mean, she it's supported just, you. She did. You know, it's just been, a, it's, it's a dream come true for me. And this movie, I am super proud of it. Mm. I know that when people see it, they are going to love it. The story is a beautiful, beautiful, wow. relatable story. Well shot. The actors delivered. It's, it's a story that is going to start conversation. I'm, I'm just, it's a, convers a conversational story. Yeah. Yes. People, lots of people are going to have opinions regarding the story. But at the end of the day, I shall know that Adam Madani is a winner. They are going to love oh. oh. it. Oh. We love it already. Love it. On Friday, it. everybody has to It's a family watch. film. Everybody can see. So my kids can. I can take Your my kids along. Your children can come. They can come. It's a film that you'll be entertained and you'll also be educated. So while you're watching, you're laughing, you're enjoying it, you're getting some sort of education because it pass, passes a lot of... Mercy, no, I have to ask you a question. question. Oh, <laughs> 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 okay, let's hear about the movie. So, of course, okay, about the movie. So, I am, I am excited for you. Thank like, you. I can feel the energy, Thank right? You. And I wish you all the best. Thank but you. I'm, I'm calculating in my head and I'm looking at business sense. Um, you may have shared fans with, um, there's another movie that is coming out on this. Yeah. Did you consider... You know, that shit, yeah, so, no, not shifting. For, did you consider the fact that some fans that you share would have a tough decision picking where do we go? Because they they next day. Day. Oh, next day. They are going next day. They are going next day. Exactly. So, but the premiere is happening in the same day, right? No, 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 no. Okay, so the thing is, first off, I chose the date first. Yes, I announced okay. it first, so there was no way to move it. Uh. Second off, it was not necessary to move it. Yeah. Because a good content would sell itself. Yeah. You can't say because you're someone's fan, and then you see something that is also very good. Yes. You, you now yes. want to know want to. All of us can win, as you said. All yes. of us can so win. All of us are winning. So yes. it's it's you not go Friday on Saturday. You, can, you can yeah, just proud of both of you. Yeah. 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 Two. There are three. three. We're three. We're three. three. So we're producers. actually proud of all three of you. I, mean, yes, I think so that we all should go really out. Ruling yeah. Friday, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday. Let's go and watch all yes. movies. Yes. These movies are going to be in cinema for weeks. Yes, yes. So we can see so the, the money will still be rolling. Okay. 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 What, the question, I, I am confident because I have a very good content. I have an amazing film. Mm. I have a great film. I have something that you watch and you want to even go and watch again and take. You know, let me ask. Let me ask you this question. Because when I, when I see you on social media, I see a woman who is flamboyant, who likes fashion, yeah. you know, she likes a lot of pictures, she loves a lot of attention. Sometimes it's for the bad, mm. but this time it's for the good. Yeah. I'm looking and discussing I'm like, your aura. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Positive. So positive. Yes. I don't get it. Like, so we get to interview a lot of people, so we know the difference. So we know mean, those that come here. You have this aura of mm. joy, peace, uh, yeah, happiness, within. and it sells, it's, it's from within. Yeah. So your, your husband is making you happy. Your family, your work, your career, the people around you. And we see that. And I think this is an indication 
to any woman out there who has probably been through your shoes, been in a bad marriage, been in a bad relationship, you can still come out and love. You Absolutely. can still find love Absolutely. and Absolutely. even in your career. Absolutely. But I have to ask you this controversial question. <laughs> as we are loving and enjoying your <laughs> yes, yes. you are somebody's second wife. Mm. <laughs> A polygamist, I mean, they, they, yeah. they corrected us, poly, polygenies, yes. right? And um, your husband obviously has a first wife who the whole drama happened and yeah. everything. Um, are, you in, are you considerate of, the, of, the, of, 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 of balancing the relationship where you don't take all the love? Where I have grabbed this one. You know, how, you know, second wives, I have grabbed you that see, first wife, last I left, oh, where? Oh. I, have, I, have, I have it. It's not going anywhere. Collected I've it. collected it. <laughs> Is that where you are? Or you're one of those I am willing there's to so share. Much love to go yeah, like uh, there's so much love. How can I take all the love? Ah. No, I can't take all the love. Oh. Ah, no, no, no. So we are sharing. There's, ah, the thing is, <clears throat> eh, I can't take all the love. I also say that I cannot take all the love, okay. actually. How is everything? He has the capacity. How, 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 how. You have a good relationship. Do you want to give multiple oh. people? Are you, have you, did you try mending relationship with her or you just feel like I'll stay on my own? Oh, she came out to speak about you. Uh, you know, this maybe, maybe maybe the next time I come here for an interview, I can delve into that. Yeah, okay. 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 Let's because focus on my our main work. focus today is actually on Adal Madadi, okay. and I don't want to delve into too much into my personal life. I like. Life. I think. I think. I think that's a good answer. That. That's a yes. good answer. So, Thank you. Um, very much. I, I see the way you play the love on, you know, concerning your work, and he's doing the skits with you, supporting you, and I'm asking. How are you guys able to get your hands off each other while you're working professionally? Because <laughs> me, I, will, I can't work with my husband. It's impossible. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, but how are you always having breaks for other rooms? For teams, mm. that's... While everybody shouts here, like, you have the eye. When you are describing, you say chemistry. Yeah, 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 so yeah let's go. How are you able to be professional? <laughs> you to be professional? Because I can't... The, the, I, the thing with me is when I'm working, I'm working, everybody knows. Okay. I'm, I'm a very focused human being. It's like serious. when it comes to some things, I'm a one way traffic, and there I they look. So at that point in my head, I am working. As a matter of fact, I don't even see him as my husband at that point in that situation. Mm. Yes. Mm. I don't. So if, if he comes now. If he comes where? To, you know, he knows me. He won't do it. He knows. He knows. Uh, yes. Uh, work so he knows there are boundaries. When we're working, we're working. They don't see as a fighter. Well, yeah. They don't see. Just <laughs> two rules, ground rules. Doing I'm working. Is it you, you know when you know your partner, you already yeah, know you your know partner. You know, and you know there are boundaries. And you know Go this ahead, person man. is yeah. like that. So. Mercy. Fine babe. Hot wife. Oh, God. But to your mother as well. How yes, are you doing I, all these things and parenting? You do school I, runs and all that mm. stuff. And by the way, my my daughter just recently graduated. Hey, hello. Yes. You are so oh, good. Yeah. I mean, I have a graduate as a daughter. Oh, congratulations. To God with the glory. I mean, yeah. Oh. I mean, that too was very emotional for mm. me because oh, I single-handedly raised her. Oh. And, you know, doing everything all by yourself wow. wasn't an easy task. It wasn't a walk in the park for me. Mm. It was a lot of work. You know, when you're a single mom, you're scared. You, you actually are the one that will go and look for money. Yeah. But you also... You have to be the one to nurture. How do you... <laughs> so you're scared. You don't want to fail. Hmm. You can't go look for money and then you're not, you know, paying not churring and yeah. paying proper attention. If anything happens, they will blame you. They will blame you. Hmm. And there's someone like me that is even, hey, An actress very misunderstood. Mm. Yeah. Yes, I, I like am that. very, very misunderstood. It, when a mommy came to work with me and then she, she was like, I'm oh, so you're like this, so oh, you're like that. I'm like, uh, what you see on social media is just, it's just like a, like say a, a personnel. It's not like the real yeah. mercy. Mm. That, there are times that... Yeah, when I, you know, when I told her, that. when I told her that I don't even like party, she's like, ah, yes, <laughs> ah. you're yeah, you don't like party, okay? But people close to me know that I don't like party. I don't like parties. Yes, I love my space. I love my personal space. I love to be in my house. Ah. My so people don't know all that about me. So I'm very misunderstood. So do you still cook for your husband? Yeah, absolutely. I even post sometimes on my page. <laughs> yeah. And so before now, it used to bother me that people do not no, understand no. me and they judge me wrongly most times. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, what am I doing wrong? But, so at some point, I had to accept that maybe that's how God just wants that. Yeah. Anybody that cl comes close to yeah, me know the real would me. know the real me. And, you know, so... You know. so you, so you get. Like that too. I'm so, very so, get. <laughs> so we're so happy for you. Thank um, you so much, um, I was going to ask you how 
um, where and where it's going to be premiered, where and yeah. what cinemas across the country is in London, are you going to the UK, are you going to all the uh, global <laughs> premieres? Ah, well, I'm, going, I'm going everywhere to make more new. So the premiere is taking place next week, Tuesday, at IMAX Cinemas Lekki. Yeah. And then the movie opens proper to, in all cinemas across the nation, all cinemas, all cinemas across the nation, okay. from December 15, 2023. Save the date, guys. Come out to see this film. Come out, see you will love it. See you see the way I'm saying it confidently. Yes. You would love Ada Omodadi. Yes. And that's some period. <laughs> I saw a comment on your page. The lady was like, ah, even if you don't do skits, even if you don't do anything, just from this trailer, I am going to come and watch. Yes, yeah, that's right. How was the feedback? I mean, um, by the way, by, um, my trailer has been described as the best. Mm. I agree amongst all the trailers. I agree, I agree. And that actually makes me feel very... You walked I'm humbled. Field, yeah. I'm humbled. I'm humbled. You know, because... Ah, Messi, you're so different from what you <laughs> <in> life. <laughs> I'm, talking, I'm just looking at you. Yeah. Ah, is this is the same Messi that we see on but Instagram. Yeah, I've, I've, I've actually met her ah. once, and she had a very good aura. Mm. So when okay. I see the social media buzz buzz, I, I say, well... It, oh, you know, I, this the social I'm media glad that her. Yeah. It's people's commenting on her. No, but sometimes... I think, it's, I think and then we, you don't blame people. You know, at times when things she happen... She social don't bass goes. Don't you, mm -hmm. because she said, tell her, she too shall don't bass goes on social media. No, I haven't. I don't do bass goes. I don't even <laughs> respond. Yeah. People know that I don't respond. I don't respond. I, don't, I hardly respond. I don't. It's yeah, just... So, so we have to wrap up to meet you. So what, so what have to, I mean, I know at that moment, that is the focus now, but yes. Yes. this is the first of many. Are you planning to do oh, much? Absolutely. There's no stop. <laughs> <laughs> me, no, that is a movement. Yeah. That is coming. Again. This is the be uh, beginning of great projects from Mesa. What's Mesa the most romantic kids? thing your husband has done for you? Ah, hmm. Mm. So uh, bought, he bought me. Tell us. He, <laughs> yeah, you, he, okay, so um, Tell us. my birthday last year, mm -hmm. he bought me a Rolex wrist <gasps> oh. that I cherish and oh. I, and then he just does a lot of very sweet like things. please teach us that men the women are they don't want to learn please like learn. like like I mean like my husband joyfully dressing up as a woman to promote my film as, as in and he's just directing you're constantly yeah. directing <laughs> <laughs> your mother is important to her yeah no but we're yes. also talking about real life oh, oh yeah yeah, yeah real life oh, things does he yeah. make tea for you in the morning ah, make breakfast everything ah. you want me to pull up my husband <laughs> yes now tell us <laughs> tell, tell us, us. Tell us. Tell tell so that we can know men want to learn very romantic actually He's even more romantic than I am. Mm. And then, you know, it, it makes food for me. Oh. It massages my feet when oh. I'm tired. Okay, what do you do? What, you I do a lot. Okay. I cook. I take care of him. I you do pole him. dancing. You the monkey in the shadow I, style. No, <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have pole in the house. Okay. Okay. Guess what? I shall oh. dance with my towel at times. <laughs> the towel. I can be very naughty. I, with my towel, and then at some point, I take, take it out. Take it out. Yeah. Yeah. Sexy. Oh, so, you get sexy lingeries. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, let me give you a juice. Last yeah. year, last year, well, I went to go and buy laundry because we're going to Maldives yeah. for this thing. And then I now wore the laundry and my husband was like, ah, he can't lo your in oh. <laughs> And I'm like, ah, ah, I'll grab, ah, I'll yeah. have my hair fault. And, yeah, this and you know, it was just like, oh, you're beautiful, regardless yeah, yeah. of the laundry yeah. or not. Yeah. Yeah. But my husband is just very sweet and he knows when to say those sweet words to so, so, you don't want yeah. the show to end. You want to hear more. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. She's so sincere. I'm looking at her. I can see, like, I like, can like, bobby the part. Yes. We need a bobby doll of mercy. We're like, yes. we need a doll. You know how we have the, the, the doll? Yeah. We need a mercy doll. Where is Bobby? You are so... But seriously, I just, I tell people that it's not... You don't count the amount of times that you try to love. You, please, let it be limitless. Yes. Mm. It's Loving. okay. If you try the first time, it doesn't okay. work. And try the second time, it doesn't work. Try, try it again. Third time. It might just be that at that third time, you get it right. Mm. Yeah. And then whatever, because you got yours right the first time, Time. time does not mean that I have to. Yeah. True. 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 We have different journeys. We, mm. we, 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 we are walking different paths in life. We so you are coming back, oh, right? Oh, sorry, sorry. We'll come back. We are coming just, back. Just, about polygynous it's relationships. It's okay. That time I'll, I'll be ready for you guys. Because <laughs> I want you to teach people. 
Yeah. So many people judge from outside. Mm, so we need to learn, people. especially in modern times, how it works, how it functions, so people can learn. Yes, and I, I also want to correct a lot of impressions. Exactly. Because I've not really spoken extensively no. about what happened. Yeah. They would we'll love to have you back. Once so I would love to, like, the impression that my... Um, my yeah. Yale and yeah and I are friends, which is false. So there are so many other things that I would really That's want to come back and correct. Yeah. Okay. But for now, Ada, 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 Ada. 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 let's say it together. Ada. One, two, go. Ada, Ada. 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 That's all. So when I saw before you, oh, when I, I show has ended. Oh, show has ended. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. So all right. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Please join Veronica and the ladies tomorrow. Have a lovely weekend. See you Monday. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having.